to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan and our live game is Inter against Fiorentina my name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game it's Jim Begley well thanks for that Peter I'm uh, more than ready to get going here there's the whistle Rosio conjuring up some magic on the right hand side Candreva more than happy to take the muscular approach. And it's Babacar. Badel into Milan, turned on the style in their last outing. The fans will want more of that. It's a loose ball. Has a swing at it. It's broken, and the follow-up. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Fiorentina have been the more adventurous for me and productive and now they have to add that clinical bit Bernard now the pass D'Ambrosio great leap he's done very well to get to that well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class yeah. ways as well to read it and intercepts. D'Ambrosio with the ball through. Shapes the shoots! Not the team any further forward than they were when they started out. Now it's Icardi. He's Mauro Icardi! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Oh, he really wanted that. Maro Icardi certainly tends to cast his influence and he's in imposing mood again. Bernard. Tries a through ball. That intervention was very necessary. Fiorentina were quick to defend their manager in the wake of criticisms leveled at him. It's Kancheva! And in again, they've scored! The second half off to a spectacular start. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Look, that's one of the first things you learn whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. He's made sure that that won't get through. Kandreva. Adair. Is fouled. This could spell real trouble. We know he has already been booked. 
He knows what's coming, a second yellow, and he's off. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Looks like a good ball through. Gets up to head it! Sticks it away! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Into Milan, take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. And it's Teo, long and high towards the flank. It's got through, plays it back, looks to slip it through. Well read, he sorted that out. Rapidly approaching the end, into Milan. Looking odds on now to extend their face to face. Has a hit! And the ball's come out. Trying to get there. Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again. He really had to be at his best, didn't he? Patel goes looking. Ader tries to up to meet it. Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. Beautifully worked to take the defense out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's Teo. Plays it out to the wing. And there goes the final whistle. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the results followed inevitably. Your reflections then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the...